Twitch, you ban me on National Hate Jewish Day, bro. Guys, Twitch ban me on National Hate Jewish People Day. Yo, how's it going, bros? Kids, it's your boy Lofi here, and yeah, we're talking about this guy again. So if you guys watched my latest video, then you already know what's going on with Aiden Ross. If not, pause this, go watch that, and come back so you can be fully informed. But basically, long story short, Aiden Ross decided to show Asa Akira's booty hole on live stream, and uh, now Twitch banned him for that. Now, for those of you wondering, why would he stream that on Twitch? Why would he show that stuff on Twitch? He didn't. He actually streamed on another platform called Kick, I think, and not the app that everybody got groomed on back in middle school. It's another live streaming platform by the same name. I know, it's pretty confusing. But yeah, so Aiden Ross went on there, decided to show some big old boobies, and uh, Twitch didn't like that. Even though he wasn't on their platform, Twitch was like, you know what? You, you did a thing we don't like, even though you didn't do it on our platform while live. Banned! Now, Twitch wrote this into their terms of service a long time ago. I remember every YouTuber, Twitch streamer was talking about it back in, like, what was it, 2020 or 2021? I think even I made a video on it way back in the day. That now, Twitch wrote into their new terms of service, if you do stuff off-platform that they don't like, they can ban you. They can. I don't think it's right. But so say I go get a DUI and kill five children, uh, they can ban me on Twitch for that, even if I don't live stream me doing it. Now, I feel like that may be an actual kind of, uh, we don't want this person on our platform type of thing, you know, drunk driving, murdering innocent children. You know, that, that might be kind of a reasonable thing to get banned for, but there are some cases where it's honestly stupid. Now, I don't think it's right that Twitch can just go and ban people for things they don't even do on their platform. It doesn't make sense. So if I decide to go out and, uh, poop on the streets because I couldn't find a toilet, I don't think Twitch should ban me for that. You know, if I accidentally throw my can into the trash instead of the recycling, I don't think I should be banned for that, you know? So sometimes I just want to kill the planet. My bad. Well, Aiden Ross isn't somebody that I watch a lot, not somebody that I really am like, Yo, go Aiden, I support you, bro. I'm jerking off while I watch your streams, for real. I do think it's kind of weird that Twitch is still so gung-ho about if somebody does things we don't like, even not on our platform, we ban them. Not really a big supporter of that. Now, in Aiden's case, well, he did show a bunch of adult images to a wide variety of people, most of them probably being underage. Not cool. Not cool. Whether or not what I think he did was super bad or not that bad at all, I don't think he should have been banned on Twitch for it. He didn't do it on Twitch. He didn't, you know, say, hey, guys, go follow my Twitch while he was doing it, I'm pretty sure. So why is Twitch punishing him at all for something that wasn't done on his platform? Like, on Twitch. It doesn't make any sense. It's dumb. And he made a response video to his ban on Twitch, and uh, let's go look through that real quick. Twitch, you ban me on National Hate Day, bro. Guys, Twitch ban me on National Hate Jewish People Day. Bro, first of all, it is Black History Month, okay? So half of this month is, like, my month, okay? And <laughs> is National, like, Hate Jewish People Day, is, is that a real thing? Is that, is, is, is that, hold on, let me do a quick Google search. Okay, after like a 30 second Google search, apparently that's a real thing that, uh, anti-Semites have. It's, it's called like, Day of Hate. So, dang, didn't know he was Jewish, but I, I don't think that Twitch is anti-Semitic. I think that they just like money, and, uh, th that's it. That's why the hot tub streamers and booby streamers have their own category now. Cause money. So Twitch, did you ban me cause I'm Jewish? I don't get it, bro. You ban me on National Hate Day, bro. How does that work? How do you ban me on National Hate Jew Day? Bro, out of all the controversial things and stuff that he said in his entire career, and maybe even just the past, like, six months, he's just like, it's gotta be because I'm Jewish, bro. It's because I'm Jewish, you know? Most people never even really knew that, but it, it, it's gotta be that, bro. Mans is always trying to bash, like, the, like, liberals or whatever the crap on Twitter talking about, stop playing victim, bro, just, like, man up, fucking don't jerk off the porn anymore, and just, like, be a man, stop playing victim. Now he's over here like, I'm Jewish, so they banned me. It's, 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 it's cause I'm Kyle from South Park and they banned me, bro, Twitch is Cartman. I'm kidding. Listen, we know why Twitch banned me. And uh, I'm gonna talk about everything. The first thing I'm gonna say is this. I already signed my deal to this It don't matter. I already locked myself in on Kick. Thank God. Because I told everyone that Kick was out to get me, bro. They were out to get me. They're out to get Kai. They're out to get all these fucking streamers. So, Mans has a contract with another streaming platform. So, so he's gonna be making money already off views, donations, and whatever the crap on Kick. Plus the contract money from signing to them. And yet he's like, what? I can't make another million dollars on top of the million dollars I make a year already? I'm so pissed, bro. I'm one less million of a millionaire now. 
Why? Like, I'm sorry. If I already owned two designer cars and like 16 designer outfits, it wouldn't be like, man, I lost a million dollars. Like, I'm sure to him a million dollars is like me losing 100, bro. Like, man, it kind of sucks, but I'll make it back in, you know, two days, dude. Like, come on. You know, I'm going to just tell you guys right now, bro. Um, I'm not even going to bash Twitch completely. But the one thing I'll say is this. If I have blue hair and did my makeup, would you have me, Twitch? It's a serious question. Oh my god, guys. Twitch is following the liberal agenda. They banned me because I don't believe in pronoun and hair dye, guys. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna be real for a second. Do you guys remember 2016? Whenever everybody's making videos on the feminist-owned Ben Shapiro roast feminists at college, uh fucking speaking you know why all those videos got pushed out to everybody because it was profitable to shit on make fun of that type of stuff but now the script is flipped and now that it's profitable to make fun of people who still think that same way and make those same jokes and have that same mindset as they did back then now everybody's like what do you mean i can't say super messed up stuff and have it be funny because i didn't even try to make a joke out of it i was just racist it, it, racism used to be funny way back in the day this is wrong, man. It's all about money. Like, that's all it's about. The second that it becomes funny and cool again to, like, rose feminists and stuff, which it low-key kind of is flipping back to 2016, but slowly, like, nobody will have complaints anymore. I feel like people forget that YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, they're all companies. The entire point of companies is to make money. So if they have to be sell-out panderers to make that money, that's exactly what they're gonna do. Yeah, it's wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, that's okay. Screw over your users for money. I don't agree with it. I think it's insanely wrong. People gotta acknowledge at some point that that's what's happening, that's what's going on, and that's- that's why. People are always like, why this? Why that? Because money. Because super greedy old people. Yeah. Would you apparently ban me? If I had blue hair and did my makeup and fingernails, would you apparently ban me, bro? No, they wouldn't have. Oh man, I thought he just got a seven day ban. Dude's channel got Hiroshima, bro. Oh my god. His channel went to the same place my dad went to. Jesus. Gone forever. Never to return with the milk. <laughs> Rest in peace. Nah, seriously though, all jokes aside, it is weird they gave him a perma ban for that. Like, you, we've all seen the stories happen of like female Twitch streamers that forget to turn their camera off and were like masturbating or watching porn or accidentally do a titty slip and they get banned for like what seven days two weeks maybe a month max like all the stuff Amaranth has been through I made a video on her when I was like 18 five years ago and all the stuff that all these other people have done only got a month ban max and he didn't even do that stuff on his on on Twitch and he got a perma ban for it that's that's wrong Straight up, that shouldn't have happened. I don't agree with that. I feel like at most, if they were gonna ban him, give him like a month ban. But it's probably mostly because he signed with another platform. Because Aiden was bringing in a bunch of money to Twitch, and they were like, Oh yeah, we love that we're getting so much money out of this guy, because Twitch takes a 50% revenue split off of subs. And now that he's signed to another platform, they were like, You know what, excuse to ban him? Ban him. He's not bringing us all the big bucks anymore. Fuck this guy. But I'm sure he doesn't see it that way, given as this is the same guy who said the average salary in America has to be $100,000, right? <laughs> right? All Aiden Ross knows is that him being on internet make him millionaire and uh, basketball meme Andrew Tate. So I understand. He doesn't think about the complexities of life. And neither do I most of the time. I spend most of my days smoking a lot of weed and drinking a lot of beer with the boys. I only actually use my brain to think hard because I need to pay rent, because being homeless does not sound like a vibe. This is exactly why everyone needs to see Twitch for what it is. It's full of corrupted, pure corrupted, um, hold on, sorry, Twitch is full of corrupted, Karens. You know, I'm not the biggest Aiden Ross supporter, but I completely agree with him on this. Twitch is full of Karens. They're full of corrupt, very super biased Karen. And I'm pretty sure I made a story time video about this, but I should be permanently banned on Twitch. Uh, when I was, I think, 17 or 18 years old, I said inward hard R while streaming some Roblox. Yeah. This was before I, you know, got, like, up in the YouTube community. I was just streaming on Twitch. I think I had two YouTube videos at the time. I was mostly a Twitch streamer. I started out as a Twitch streamer. And one day, I said hard R on Twitch live. And, uh, for those of you who don't know, whenever you have a Twitch moderator, like someone who works for Twitch in your stream, and they type in there, 
they have a little wrench symbol next to their name. And someone with that commented on my thing right after I said that and said, LOL, you're cute, winky, smiley face. And I looked up, you know, what that symbol meant. And I realized it was someone who works for Twitch. I got scared, ended my stream, deleted the VOD. But um, my channel was never banned. It's been almost six years since that day, if my math is correct. And my channel's still there because some horny Twitch mod thought 17-year-old me was cute. No joke, no scam. <laughs> Twitch is corrupt. I've experienced it personally, and I've benefited from it. So yeah, that's the lesson from today's video. Uh, every company is corrupt. They suck. Uh, play within the rules or get screwed over. And if you do, you'll probably get screwed over anyways. So have fun while you can before you're gone. I feel like that's the point of life. Have fun. Fuck everybody else. Do you. And as long as you do that, you'll be happy. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, slap a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch with my homie, uh, here in a couple hours after I upload this, or maybe in an hour, I don't know, however long it takes this video to render, it's like 5.30 right now. So, uh, yeah, link in the description for, uh, the Twitch channel stuff, I know everybody's like, screw Twitch right now, but, uh, I still have fun on there, so yeah, come watch. And, uh, gonna get real again for a second, I feel like I've been a lot more real instead of funny in today's video, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, it's honestly been fun making these videos again. Uh, I've been gone for a while. For those of you guys who watch my Where I've Been video, where I explain what's been going on with me the past year, I've really missed this. You know, I don't make money off of YouTube anymore, but that's never really why I did this. I had fun doing it. I'm having fun again. It's, it's been great. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies. Yo, we got nothing in common. Every time I look back, when my mind's clear and I see the past, and it's looking at me like past that, past the blunt, hit the weed, take a sip of this Hennessy.